Now on Coast TV News. Increased fines for parking in the wrong direction in Rehoboth Beach. Tell us what you think in our Coast TV poll. More bad news for former President Trump. This time it's an audio recording of him personally pressuring election workers. Holiday travel hits Sussex County. The amount of drivers expected to hit the roads this coming holiday weekend. Saving sea turtles. What natural resources police want you to look out for in the bay and ocean. A chilly evening here along the coast. I'll have your last minute holiday shopping forecast coming up in just a few moments. This is Coast TV News at 11. Special election, the voters of District 37 choosing between Republican Valerie Jones Giltner and Democrat Jane Hovington. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. And I'm Mallory Metzner. Welcome to our news at 11. We begin tonight with breaking news. The people of Millsboro and Georgetown have made their choice. Valerie Jones Giltner has won the race for District 37 with an unofficial 800 or 1,805 votes, topping Jane Hovington by nearly 800 votes. This special election needed to be held after the resignation of former Representative Ruth Briggs King, who recently moved into a new home just over the district line. New tonight. Crowded, that's the easiest way to describe the major highways on Delmarva today and likely for the rest of the weekend. AAA says this year is on track to set records for the number of people hitting the road to spread holiday cheer. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert shows us what it looks like out there for your holiday travels. Run Run Rudolph through Sussex County. Thousands of people are hitting the road this holiday season. In Delaware alone, AAA predicts nearly a third of the state, 300,000 people will be on the move. We're looking at three back-to-back three-day holiday weekends. We're also looking at an extended 10-day holiday period where people are take the extra time off from work and off from school so they have the time in their schedule and the flexibility to travel. This holiday season is expected to be the second busiest year on record, trailing only 2019. Dell Dot says basic precautions like wearing seatbelts, driving sober, and following speed limits will help you arrive alive. Uh, give yourself some extra time to get to where you're going. Uh, just anticipating that there is likely to be traffic, especially if you are going to be traveling out of state. And uh, with the with the long holiday weekend, we we do think it is going to be a, a, a very highly traveled weekend. As for gas prices, the average statewide is around three dollars and seven cents a gallon. Of course, driving isn't the only way to travel. You can also expect about 18,000 people from the first state to take to the sky over the next few weeks. According to Tidwell, the busiest travel day of the week is expected to be December 23rd, but according to her, another busy travel day is expected to be the day after Christmas. I'm Charles Reinhardt in Sussex County, Coast TV News. Thank you, Charles. And now let's take a live look outside into West Ocean City to check on the weather here. You saw Charles bundled up in that winter coat and hat. Very appropriate for the first day of winter. And our first alert meteorologist, Alex Seymour, joins us now with a look at our weather tonight. Good evening, Alex. Good evening. Yeah, certainly has been a rather chilly evening here along the coast. And we're going to stay chilly for at least the next 24 hours before we really start to warm up as we head into the holiday week. And right now, as I take a live look out on a Hershey Exteriors camera at the 45th Street Tap House in Ocean City. Conditions pretty quiet out the door this evening. Temps sitting right around 42 degrees. We're in the 30s and 40s all across the region this evening. It's 43 in Rehoboth Beach, 40 in Bethany Beach, 39 degrees in Milton this evening. Winds are calm, but they are coming out of the northeast, so that is going to keep our beaches a little bit warmer overnight tonight. Upper 30s, while inland locations will be falling down into the upper 20s. Along with that, we're seeing a few extra clouds right at the beaches, but they're starting to kind of just fade apart. Tomorrow, we don't have to worry about the clouds. We're going to see sunshine and our shopping forecast. Not looking half bad. Temperatures climbing up into the mid 40s. Still want to grab a light jacket, but not too bad for that last minute holiday shopping. Alex, and for more weather updates, make sure to pull out your phones and scan the QR code for our first alert weather app. You can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. We have breaking news tonight out of Detroit, and it's more bad news for former President Donald Trump. 
According to a report from the Detroit News, former President Trump directly pressured two members of the Wayne County Board of Canvassers in Michigan to not certify the 2020 presidential election. And it gets worse because that conversation was allegedly recorded. In addition to that news, information that Republican National Committee Chair Rona McDonald, a Wayne County resident, is also implicated and was allegedly on the call as well, telling the canvassers not to sign off on certification. All of this comes on the heels of four current criminal cases that the former president is already facing in relation to his attempts to retain power in the, week of lo in the wake of losing the 2020 election. Drivers need to check twice next time they parallel park in Rehoboth Beach. Here's why. The city decided to increase the fine to $50 for drivers parallel parking incorrectly. The city says it sees a lot of drivers parallel park like this with the back of the car facing the front of the spot. Commissioner said this is a safety concern because the front of the car is facing incoming traffic. One local disagrees because they believe there are more important parking issues to handle. I don't. There are so many fines and they're already exorbitant and I think people are really upset. My customers are always complaining. They can't find parking. It has been a nightmare the last few years and we have to do something because there's so many more people coming into the Rehoboth. Uh, the population is increasing. The visitors are increasing. Our tourist, tourism is at its all time high and I really think it's a problem. The parking department originally suggested the fine increase because this was a more common issue it saw this past summer. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, do you agree with increased fines for just really parking the wrong direction. Let's take a look at the results from earlier this evening. Look at your screen here. 79% agree with this decision for increased fines. 14% disagree. 7% are unconcerned. Maybe they never parked the wrong direction. And it's been strongly agree all day, but this is actually the highest we've seen it so far. You can still participate in this. You can go vote at coasttvnews.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. We here on Coast TV News reached researched parking citation fees for other coast towns that are already set. In Lewis, a regular parking citation fine, that's $40. Ocean City, it's $50. Fees may vary for other parking violations in Lewis and Ocean City. Bethany Beach, it's also $50. And in Fenwick Island, it's $50 or $75. It depends on the parking violation. New at 11, a man has been arrested in Seaford after allegedly robbing the same bank twice. This all happened at the M&T Bank located at Sussex Highway and Herring Run Road. Seaford police say 29-year-old Brandon Abbott was arrested today for robberies that happened here on October 21st and December 13th. Officers say they found clothes matching witnesses' description of the suspect in a nearby dumpster. He has been charged with robbery, wearing disguise during the commission of a felony, and tampering with evidence. He was committed to the Department of Corrections on $111,000 cash bail. New tonight, a man has been arrested after police say he was driving towards them on the wrong side of the road in Bridgeville. Delaware State Police say 32-year-old Marcus Eckert of Salisbury was driving in the Mill Park Drive area around 10.30 Tuesday morning. Troopers say they avoided getting his getting hit by Eckerd and deployed emergency equipment. Eckerd failed to stop, but troopers caught up to him later on Coverdale Road. Charges include driving under the influence of drugs and felonies, including attempting to engage in firearms carrying a concealed deadly weapon. Happening in Lewis next month, a discussion on accessory dwelling units. On Wednesday, January 3rd, the Housing Committee will meet to discuss units like the one you see on your screen. These types of units can be described as apartments over garages or basement apartments. This meeting is slated for 4 p.m. in Lewis City Hall. I'm Madeline Overturf. Here's a look at just some of the things happening across Delmarva. The Maryland Department of Natural Resources is asking you to look out for cold, stunned turtles. It's like hypothermia in sea turtles. If you see a lethargic or floating sea turtle in the Chesapeake Bay or on the coast, contact the Maryland Natural Resources Police. For the second time in a year, Records Pond Pier near Laurel is closed. This time, Denrex says it's due to heavy rains. 
The floating dock was partially submerged due to massive outflow from the dam and broke away. Salisbury has received nearly $5 million in loan forgiveness to address chemical levels in the Naylor Mill Village Mobile Home Park and extend water services to that area. That's a look at just some of the things happening across Delmarva. I'm Madeline Overturf. Czech authorities say a gunman killed 14 people and injured dozens at a university in Prague today. The shooter was also dead, according to police. NBC's Molly Hunter breaks down images from the violent attack. This is an incredibly rare attack in the Czech Republic. It happened in Prague, and police say it happened at Charles University, one of the oldest, largest universities in the country, right in the middle of the capital in the old town. Now, 46,000 students go to this university, normally unclear exactly how many would have been on campus just four days before Christmas. But what is sure is that the area around is populated, as touristy would have been packed at this hour. So in a press conference, police are telling us a little bit more about the attacker. They say it was a sole attacker, a 24-year-old male Charles University student. No direct motive has been given. Now, the police do say they believe it was a, quote, premeditated violent attack. The operation, though, is still ongoing. And so as police and emergency services publish numbers, they stress that these numbers will likely change. This evacuation is still going on. Police are still going door to door. They are going around the university with flashlights, trying to make sure that anyone who was hunkering down or hiding because of the active shooter uh, knows that it is safe to come out. That shooter is confirmed dead. Now, again, this is an incredibly rare developing situation for Prague. Gun crime is very, very low in the city. We will get more details from the police, hopefully, possibly about a motive or how exactly this started. But right now, the U.S. Embassy, the British Embassy, has blasted uh, alerts to their citizens who are in the city to say, look, listen to police. And police are very clear right now. There is no imminent danger, but please stay away from the area. New at 11, last week, a jury ordered Rudy Giuliani to pay $148 million in damages to two Georgia election workers. Most people don't just have that on hand. So today, Giuliani filed for bankruptcy. The former New York mayor and close ally of former President Trump filed in New York shortly after a court ordered he immediately pay the $146 million that he still owes Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, the former election workers. Giuliani helped then-President Trump spread false claims that the 2020 presidential election was stolen, including that Freeman and Moss scanned ballots for President Biden multiple times. Apparently, the verdict hasn't changed his tune at all, though. Last Friday, Giuliani claimed again that his accusations were accurate, and to that end, Freeman and Moss have filed a new complaint against the former New York mayor, asking a judge to bar him from continuing to make false claims. Make sure to tune into Coast TV for our Del Marvelous Christmas special. The special will play on Christmas Eve at 11 p.m. and on Christmas Day at 5 p.m. It's full of holiday cheer and celebrations you won't want to miss. We're just getting started here this evening. Coming up, paving the future, the road improvements set to come out of federal money awarded throughout Maryland. A quiet evening here along the coast and the weather looks to stay calm through Christmas Day. I'll have your holiday travel forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Electric car initiative, how a grant has revolutionized electric vehicle adoption at one dealership. We'll be back in just 60 seconds. Hey moms, you know those unforgettable face palms? Those moments that leave us both laughing and sighing. They're not just mishaps, they're our shared stories. Share your unique mom moments with us. Go to coastlife.com slash mom. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. The Jennifer Hudson Show. I turn the spotlight on you. Inspiring stories. I can do it! That's right! The biggest stars. You have your own show. I love Jennifer. Here you go. Friday at 2 on Coast TV. This is Coast TV News at 11. 
In a significant move towards sustainability, First State Chevrolet in Georgetown is set to construct a solar array. Those solar panels will power the dealership one thir on 113. The array was paid for with $220,000 in grants from the USDA Rural Development. This grant will not only power the business with renewable energy, but it's also going to help it prepare for the adoption of electric vehicles. In our business, it made sense with electrification of some of our vehicles and some of the things that are going on that uh, this is going to help us long term as a business to defray some of the power costs that we're going to have. Senator Tom Carper joined the discussion and helped secure the grant and was on hand today. Maryland delegation members announced millions of dollars in federal funding today to improve roads across the state. More than $25 million comes from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Safe Streets and Roads for All grant program. U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen's office says $320,000 is going to the city of Cambridge to improve bicycle accessibility and more. $280,000 to Queen Anne's County aims to develop a comprehensive safety action plan. It was a pretty chilly evening here along the coast, but at least we're still dealing with some pretty quiet conditions. Clear skies out the doors to take a live look out on our Orsted camera in West Ocean City. Temps sitting right around 42 degrees. We're in the 30s and 40s all across Delmarva this evening. We're, we're going to be falling down into the upper 20s across inland locations as we head into the late overnight hours. The beach is likely staying in the upper 30s. Right now, though, it's 43 degrees in Rehoboth Beach, 40 in Bethany Beach, 37 in Ocean Pines. 39 in Milton, 40 degrees in Millsboro. Winds rather calm inland out of the northeast at about 7 miles per hour on Rehoboth Beach, 3 miles per hour at the Indian River Inlet. That's enough to bring in a little bit of warmer air, so that's why we are in the low 40s at the beaches, and that's why the beaches with that northeasterly wind direction is going to only fall into the upper 30s overnight tonight. We also have a thin layer of clouds right at the beaches, but that is starting to fade apart. In the locations, we've already cleared all those clouds out, so we've got clear skies and calm winds. So that's why we're expecting those temps to really tumble over the next few hours. Outside of that, really not a whole lot going on here on Delmarva or really across the Mid-Atlantic. We have to go towards the middle of the country to find any travel issues. So we're going to be dealing with a little bit of wet weather across the middle of the country, particularly the Midwest by the time we head towards tomorrow. So if you are traveling maybe towards Chicago, you may be dealing with a little bit of wet weather. Also, another area dealing with a bit of nasty weather, Los Angeles. So if you're flying out west as we head towards tomorrow, you may run into a few of those issues. Travel forecast out of the Philadelphia airport or out of the Baltimore airport tomorrow. Looking pretty good. No travel delays likely. 28 degrees tomorrow morning in Philadelphia. 37 degrees by midday. It really stays pretty chilly all day long. It's chilly, but it's quiet. We're going to see sunshine, so no travel delays whatsoever at the airports, whatsoever at the roads. Tomorrow, probably going to be a little bit different in a few days. Here we go. As we head <laughs> towards Friday afternoon, there's those problems near Chicago. There's those problems in the desert southwest, Pacific Northwest. So particularly if you're heading maybe to visit some family members in the Midwest, along the West Coast, you could be dealing with some travel issues. Saturday, those travel issues become more near Denver. And then in Texas, Dallas, Houston area, everywhere else, we're seeing some pretty quiet conditions. And then Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, there's going to be a rather large storm system impacting the middle of the country. This storm system eventually going to be making its way towards Delmarva, but that's not going to be until next Tuesday. Our Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling seven day forecast showing quiet but warm weather through Christmas Day. Rain next Tuesday and Wednesday with that wet weather on next Tuesday and Wednesday. Going to need that umbrella this evening's winner, Amos Hosteller from Lewis, Delaware. Congratulations. Thank you, Alex. Coming up next, flipping through the pages of grief, how one Milford veteran is hoping to help other people battling with mental health issues. Is your home ready for the holidays? It's not too late. Shop now, take your purchase with you, and get an extra 20% off. This triple reclining sofa is now only $899.95. Get to Johnny Janosik now. My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life. 
the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the little things can do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody Oh, Merry Christmas, Grandma. Plumbing problems? If your toilet won't flush and your water stops running, pick up the phone and call East Coast Plumbing. Heating problems? If it's cold outside and the heater's not running, pick up the phone and call East Coast Plumbing. Marital problems? Yeah, call that guy. If your toilet won't flush and your water stops running, pick up the phone and call East Coast Plumbing. For all your plumbing and heating needs, the countdown to savings is on during the year in clearance going on now at the car store and the truck store. With a great selection to choose from, you'll find the perfect car or truck. And with best in market pricing and maximum trade-in values, you'll save a ton of money. And with guaranteed financing, no matter your credit, you could ride today. Don't miss the year in clearance at the car store. Store, Route 13 Laurel Salisbury and the Truck Store. Route 13 Dover and Del Mar. Four locations, one great company. Is your home ready for the holidays? It's not too late. Shop now, take your purchase with you, and get an extra 20% off. This queen panel bedroom set is now only $988.95. Get to Johnny Genosic now. Here's a scenario. You're in the military, you're in a foreign land, and you're suffering from depression. An Air Force veteran living right here in Milford experienced these challenges firsthand. As Coast TV News reporter Tori Seagrave shows us, Legates hopes to use this help from others suffering from mental illness. This is Melissa Legates receiving her American flag when Legates retired from the United States Air Force as a Master Sergeant in 2009. Legates proudly served two tours in Iraq near landmarks like this but discovered that her mental health was on the brink. I had never seen any war or blood and gore, but I was still scared for my life. And when I got home, I found myself really depressed and um, looking at telephone poles and wondering how I could just end my life without letting anyone know that I had done that. Legates began to write down her experiences and her journey to a healthier mind through religion and positive practices in 2015. Every chapter has my story and then key revelations of what I learned throughout that um, chapter and also a prayer. According to a 2022 report by the Department of Veterans Affairs, in 2020, there were over 6,000 veteran suicides. That averages to nearly 17 veterans taking their own lives every day. But Legates wants other veterans to know that much like on the battlefield, they do not have to fight alone. I want them to know that there are things that they can do to get themselves out of that rut and then reach back and help other people get themselves out of mental anguish as well. Legates plans to come out with a second book focused more on the current resources for airmen struggling with mental health. I'm Tori Seagraves in Milford, Coast TV News. General Motors is pressuring its Buick dealers to shell out or take a buyout. GM wants them to invest at least $300,000 to prepare for electric vehicles. The largest American-owned automaker says almost half of them balked at the initial investment, so it bought them out. The Buick dealership buyout program is voluntary and ongoing. GM says it wants to transition its brands to electric by 2030. Parents, you may want to take a quick look at some of those Christmas gifts you just finished wrapping. Three children's dress-up play sets and toy eggs containing slime have been recalled. The products imported by Perch exceed the federally allowable level of phthalates. These are chemicals commonly used in plastic products, but high levels may cause hormonal and other health problems. The affected products include the Little City Doctor play set, teacher purse, and Little Pretty stylist handbag set. Pretext slime eggs are also part of the recall and they also have levels of lead that exceed regulations. Coming up in sports, one of Delaware's top athletes discusses his plans to run at the next level and the adversity he's had to face to get there. 
And a special hunting opportunity. Who's eligible for a waterfowl hunt event in Maryland in the new year? Stay tuned. You're watching Coast TV News at 11. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Wow. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now get 2.9% for 72 months plus no payments for 90 days on Ford F-150. Only at your local Ford dealer. Discover your future with Sussex Tech Adult Education. We offer registered apprenticeship and health profession programs and much more, which will prepare you for everything you need to succeed in your new career. Providing hands-on experience with classes taught by professionals from every industry, Sussex Tech will assist our graduates in finding their new career opportunity. To learn more about how you can earn your professional credentials that can change your life, check out Sussex Tech Adult Education online. Your future is waiting for you at Sussex Tech Adult Education. On November 1, 2023, the State of Delaware Consumer Protection Unit implemented new regulations to reduce fraudulent practices by home improvement contractors in the first state. To protect you and your home, know the law. Always verify the contractor's professional licensing at contractorregistry.delaware.gov. Don't fall for just licensed and insured. Always get a detailed scope of work. And remember, bargain basement prices may lead to yard sale quality. Peace of Mind, brought to you by Morse Roofing and Siding. Be a penguin on New Year's Day at the AGH Penguin Swim. Come out to Ocean City on New Year's Day or join our Cyber Swim and take an ice cold dip wherever you are. Proceeds benefit the Atlantic General Hospital Foundation. For more info and to register in advance, visit aghpenguinswim.org. Not happy with your utility bill? Help save energy by replacing your outdated, inefficient windows. At Spicer Brothers, we install new replacement windows and new construction series windows. Built for extreme weather and high energy efficiency and quality installation is just as important as the window itself and you can have peace of mind on your new windows with the spicer brothers platinum plus lifetime warranty and right now buy two windows and get one free plus no interest and no payments for 18 months spicer brothers because you deserve the best the dream crew is here it's so magic's gonna happen yeah family. Friday at noon on Coast TV. A special hunting opportunity is coming up in 2024 for three regions of Maryland, including the eastern part of the state. The Maryland Department of Natural Resources and Maryland Sportsman's Foundation are teaming up for a youth and veteran waterfowl hunt event. It's scheduled for February 3rd. This applies to all military veterans as well as 11 to 16 year old youth hunters. Applications are being accepted online through January 7th. Don't forget to tune in to Coast TV News for some Saturday football. It's the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Pittsburgh Steelers at 4.30 p.m. Then we're going to have your hyper local broadcast at 11 p.m. Saturday night. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good evening, sports fans. Yesterday marked National Signing Day for football, but one of Delaware's top athletes has had his fate sealed since the fall. Seaford sprinter Chazante Levin is headed to USC next year. The senior set the Delaware state record in the 200-meter dash this past summer, becoming the first Delaware man to ever finish sub-21 seconds in the event. But his journey to being the first state's fastest was not without adversity. DSN's Tim Nolan sat down with the track star to reflect on his upbringing, and track coach Jamal Austin says Levin's accomplishments are a testament of his hard work. The teachers I told you about, like they really say that like my my journey to like getting where I'm at right now is like a like a good story to tell younger kids to motivate them, and I I look at that a lot too because like. Like a lot of the kids now, like they won't understand where, so like, like you can always turn yourself around and do something good with your life. It was like a proud dad, man. I've had, I've had Jazante since his freshman year and then to see him be a senior now and just making these grown up big, you know, big decisions. Like a proud dad, man. <laughs> You can watch Gisante's full story on our Facebook or on the DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com. That'll do it for sports. Have a great night.
We love decorating for the holidays and seeing your homes. Take a look at your screen. We have a festive holiday house from the Furman family in Dagsboro. Look at Santa glowing by the tree there. Very proud of their decorating. Thanks for sharing. You can send your pictures and videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. The holiday season is here and the Bless Our Children campaign is in full swing. This number's getting big. We've collected already over $295,000. And this all goes to help Christmas for children who otherwise might go without. But as we all know this year, creating hardship for many more people and the need for help is growing even larger. Here's a look at some people who've already helped. We're in the home stretch of the holiday season and there's still time to donate to our Bless Our Children campaign to ensure all the children on Delmarva have a present to open on Christmas morning. This card is from Mike and Mary Riston of Milton, Delaware. Thank you so much for your card and for donating to our Bless Our Children campaign. If you would like to donate, go to blessourchildren.org. We might even read your card on TV and it will definitely be on our Christmas tree in our newsroom. Delmarva's Holiday House is brought to you by Bay to Beach Builders. It hardly ever snows in our house this time of year, which can be a big bummer. But I still check every day, just in case. My mom says never give up, because the holidays are full of miracles. And they are, especially with my mom. You're always there for them, and we're always here for you. Food Lion, here for every moment. We decided to do upgrades on our house that we had built ourselves. We were looking for a particular company that would be on the same page we were as far as craftsmanship and take pride in a job well done. Now we're having the bathroom done, and we went with Spicer Brothers. I've never seen anything as fast and as efficient. Unbelievable right? how quick he is and for a one-man show. He has a passion for his craft and he's so efficient. We're just so tickled to death to have him. So before you sign, keep Bass Spice Spicer Brothers in mind. Imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening. Introducing the incredible Nutriblade knives, coated with granite stone nonstick and made of stainless steel. One of the hardest substances on earth. Now everyone can chop, slice, and dice just like a pro. Order right now to get this professional six-piece set of NutriBlades for just $29.95. We'll even ship them to you free. Get your own NutriBlade knives, the last knives you'll ever buy. Get ready to soar with the Hawks. Delmarva Sports Network is your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the first whistle to the final buzzer, DSN will take you courtside. Experience the excitement of both the men's and women's teams with every dribble, steal, and three-pointer. To see the schedule or watch the games, go to DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com or download the DSN app. Join us all season long only on the Delmarva Sports Network, your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the court to your living room, catch the dribbles and the buzzer beaters. High school basketball lives here on Delmarva Sports Network. Local teams, big dreams. One o two five W B O C. Forbes has included Barbie in this year's list of the world's most powerful women. She's the first fictional character to be chosen for the list. Forbes pointed to her 2023 Warner Brothers movie. Since her debut in 1959, Barbie has worked 250 different jobs. I just watched that again the other day. The annual Ellendale New Year's Day Parade is scheduled to start at noon. The town says participants for the parade will be lining up in Ingram Village, entering from Washington Avenue off of Main Street. Lineup starts at North Old State Road and Gladys Street and will wind through Ingram Village. Ellendale wants people to be aware that Main Street and North Old State Street will be experiencing detours due to the parade. Well, we've got one more chilly day before we start to warm up as we head into the holiday weekend. 46 degrees for that high on Friday, but we're up to 50 by Saturday, mid 50s, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Kwanzaa, upper 50s, but rain starts to move into the area and we stay wet into next Wednesday. Does get chilly again by New Year's weekend.
Thank you for joining us on Coast TV News at 11. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is up next. We'll see you tomorrow for Coast TV News at 5 a.m. Have a great night.